Hey Virgo, it is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for November. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. This is general. It's not going to resonate with all of you Virgos out there. So please do only take what resonates with you, my loves. If it does not resonate with you guys, or if you guys are looking for additional messages, you can always check your moon or rising sign. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, Virgo, and love for November. I will be looking into the recent past, present energy, and to see, um, sorry, I said that wrong. Yeah, recent past, present energy, and then I'm going to see what is crossing you guys, all right? There will be an extended reading. I will pin the link in the comments below. So let's see, Virgo. Someone rising, also Venus. All right, Virgo, let's see. All right, Virgo. Recent past for Virgo. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. The Page of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups. Present energy, we have the Five of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles. That can be you or another Earth sign. Any sign you have to pay the pentacles or reverse. What is crossing you is the five of pentacles. Some type of breakup, some type of sadness. Overall energy is the emperor. So the emperor can be you standing in your power. Okay. It can be it can be you taking back control of the situation. This can also be the person that you are with. So it looks like in the recent past. You kind of felt stuck, like the relationship kind of felt like kind of stuck. But it also looks like with the Page of Swords, you guys talked about it and tried to work through it. Because I see the Ten of Cups, so that's good. All right, there was some type of communication that came in about the relationship. So maybe you know your person was telling you like, "This is why I feel like we're stuck, or we're not moving forward, or this is why we continue to have problems, etc." And then it's like with the Ten of Cups, it all came together and started to work out. Okay. Now, in the present energy, we have the Five of Cups. This could be possible third party energy or just somebody like very sad, like just having regrets in their emotions, you know, just um, maybe really sad at the, at the moment. We have the King of Pentacles. That can be you. But then we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So this can be you like really wanting this to work out, like really committed to the relationship. But then it's like with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. It's like... Somebody is like, okay, well, I don't see it working or something is not working out or it just didn't go anywhere. Okay, like maybe it started off good after you guys had to talk, but then it's just like, it is, it's not going anywhere. Okay, with that page of pentacles reverse. What is um, crossing you guys is the five of pentacles. All right, so I want to see why the, because we have the king of pentacles and we have the emperor here. I want to see why the emperor is here um, for the overall energy. Why is the emperor here for Virgo? Knight of Wands in reverse. The lovers in reverse. One to the King of Pentacles really quick. I want to see the devil and the hangman. Four of Cups. This is some type of love triangle. It definitely is. This is definitely some type of love triangle. And this was you waiting. This was you waiting and you got rejected or you felt rejected. This was somebody that was committed. You also could have stepped outside of your relationship, Virgo. So let's see. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? This is what's crossing you guys. Let's see. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for what's crossing you? The Fool. Two of Swords Reverse. So somebody had you thinking that there was going to be some type of new beginning. Somebody had you thinking or feeling as if they had chosen you and that there was going to be some type of new beginning. Maybe it was. Maybe there was a slight new beginning. And I said slight because we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody could have just changed your mind and went back to their situation. All right? And that's what's crossing you. Yep, see, that could be what you're sad about. Okay, Virgo? 
So it's like you didn't get what you wanted out of the situation. Going to the Six of Swords reverse. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? The Tower. So somebody could have broke up with somebody. Yep, look, it looks like something came to an ending. Something there was like, okay, I'm done. It's over. Like, that's it. And I've got this person reached out to you. Somebody reached out to you. Look, see, look. Look who reached out to you. The King of Goddamn Pinnacles. This is not your energy. This is this person right here. Whoever had you guys waiting. Whoever had you guys waiting. Whoever told you they were going to sacrifice their other relationship or whatever situation they had to be with you. That This is their lying ass. Whoever this is. No disrespect. That's them. All right, so let's see. Why is the Page of Swords here? So, what was this? What is this about with the Page of Swords? Because now it's all starting to make sense. Why is the Page of Swords here? King of Wands, taking action. They could have moved in, came over. Okay, they had this talk with you, reached out, and they were like, "Look, like I'm on my way. I'm coming. You know, my other relationship is over. I'm done. I'm tired of this person. I'm tired of the situation." Like we can finally be together. We can move forward now that it's over. See, for some of you guys, definitely was a third-party situation. See, look. And you were waiting. This situation was dragging. Like, if you guys are waiting. And just when you was a, just when you were about to give up, they popped back in. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. That's you single, waiting. All right? Let's see. Why is the King of Wands here? Going to the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? See, the Four of Swords. So the person that you were in separation with reach back out and they came back towards you or they came towards you telling you that something was over you guys can move forward now they're ready all of this type of stuff so let's see why the ten of cups is here because this is the recent past i thought you guys were happy for some of you guys you have a child with this person or you guys are happy like yes i'm getting what i want we're moving forward i'm finally getting my ten of cups with this person so let's see you have the ten of cups yeah knight of pentacles you're like it took them forever this is your energy, Virgo, or you could be dealing with another Virgo, or it's just the energy. You're like, it took them forever to make this offer, and they finally have come, and they're finally coming towards me, and we can finally now be together. Okay, is what I'm getting. So let's see why the Knight of Pentacles is here. Going to the Knight of Pentacles. See the Page of Cups in reverse. So, and look, Three of Swords. Yeah, so this could be somebody that came into your life and kind of like broke your heart. Um, you could have met them thinking that, you know, like this was going to go somewhere. They were the one and all that. And it just wasn't what you expected. And they could have told you like, look, I'm in a situation. I have a relationship. It's complicated. I got this going on, that going on. But I do like you. I feel you. I want to be with you. I want to move forward with you and stuff like that. And this is them coming back. But how I'm seeing this is like whoever they were, there, whoever they were dealing with shut them off. Became cold. Didn't want to say anything. Like, you know, so they were already kind of like in their feelings. When they came towards you, even though they're coming up as a king of wands, they were kind of like in their feelings because of like their, like their person, like just kind of like shut them off emotionally was not reciprocating. So like they could have tried to apologize to that person. Like, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. But they came to you because they knew that they could come to you. Okay. So let's go into this. Let's go into the page of cups for your sword reverse, eight of wands reverse and the queen of wands. Yeah. They knew that they can come to you guys. Okay. The queen of wands, king of wands is telling me that you guys have chemistry. There's passion between you guys. You guys you guys both want to be with each other okay are you guys just both like like there's just a lot of passion and love and chemistry between you guys but i also feel like with the eight of wands in reverse you guys were like not really talking as much and then it's like they reached out okay the eight of wands in reverse can also be that you know things kind of slow down and kind of change between you guys they could have been in communication with you but it's like ever since whatever happened between them and that person they just they started to reach out and like i said as soon as you were ready to move forward boom they pop back in okay so let's see, let's look into the um, recent past really quick for Virgo. Recent past. Recent past for Virgo. We have decisions. See, so decisions. So somebody had a decision to make. Somebody was at a crossroads. Somebody had to make some type of decision. We have celebration gifts abundance. So it was a celebration because this person, like I said, you felt like this person had made the decision to come towards you. You're like, dang, like we're finally going to be together. We're finally going to have our relationship. All right. They could have also came with a gift or maybe you just felt happy. Like maybe you just felt like, yes, like, you know, with the abundance, it could just be happiness. And then we have healing. We have inner child. We have healing. So I feel like, like I said, you guys, as you were moving on, I feel like that's when you guys, this person popped back in. Go and give me a little more card for you guys. Virgo. Past, suffering, what? Yeah, see, look. The past, you guys were suffering, you guys were hurting, you guys were missing this person, you guys were trying to heal or healing, but then it's like they came in, 
they told you something but i also feel like even though this is a recent past they came in it it was a celebration because i feel like this is something that you wanted so you were happy about it but then i feel like you're now kind of still suffering still i feel like you i feel like you didn't get what you wanted out of the situation or you're not so in the present energy we have the five of cups C six of pentacles in reverse a one-sided situation a one-sided situation where this person was very selfish and only thought about themselves really yeah see and they're still holding on to somebody in a way are they still got that other situation yeah see the sun reverse sadness depression seven of swords deception lies still lying to you still sneaking around with the other person are still just being sneaky within the other situation could be a leo here we have the chariot we have the nine of wands and i feel like this is you finally like you know what it's time for me to move on and let go because the nine of wands is just like you just been through a lot you're just like that's the wounded warrior like you just been through a lot you're like you know what this is it like it's really time to just move on now okay we do have the ace of pentacles here though and we have it with the three of wands reverse they're gonna come back around again they're gonna come back three of wands reverse is somebody coming back around okay um let's see why are they gonna come back around they're gonna come back before the end of the year with that ace of pentacles and this three of wands reverse so it's telling you before the end of the year they're gonna come back around yep see look the same person whoever this person is king of cups cancer pisces scorpio can be any sign Whoever this person is that was already in a relationship, they're going to come back again. Okay? Keeping secrets, uh, secretive, stuff like that. Not really telling you much. But then that's you, the Queen of Pentacles. They're going to come back to you. Nine of Cups, wanting some type of wish fulfillment. They're also coming back knowing that you're going to, you know, love and nurture and give in to them. Or that's what they expect. Okay? And then we have the moon here. So... Things still hidden. I feel like they're going to pop up unexpected. I feel like they're going to pop up like during a moon cycle. Okay. Um, could be full. New moon. But I feel like this. Like I feel like the next time they pop up or when they pop back up again. Look. You're going to really make a decision to like walk away. Or I just see you like just still in that same energy of hurt. Or still hurting over the over what happened. Okay. Now remember when I did. I did clarify this king of pentacles here. And this is in the present energy. So let's see. Yep, see, look. So this is the name. So, okay, maybe they just came back, all right? But for some of you guys, it looks like, okay, so we have judgment here. Second chance, please take me back. So it looks like in the recent past, they came back. They hurt you, left, came back, and now they're like, they're, they're coming back again in the present energy. So I feel like within like the last three to four months, this person has came back twice, all right? For some of you guys, maybe just once, or others of you, like twice. All right, let's see why the judgment is here. Four of Wands. Queen of Swords. All right. We want to do four of Wands. Two of Pentacles, two of Wands. Two of Pentacles, two of Wands. Decisions, juggling. Now, this time, you guys are going to cut them off. That's what you're deciding to do. So, even if they come back, it may be good for a little while. You may be happy, but then it's like after you think about it, Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands, you're like, no, you're not going to juggle me. You're not going to reject me. You're not going to ghost me no more. You're not going to have me suffering and over here looking crazy and feeling all type of ways over you. You're cutting them off. This time, you're cutting, you're cutting them off this time. Wheel of Fortune and moving forward. Yeah, that's what you're going to do this time. So with the page of pentacles in reverse, because yeah, that's like the page of pentacles in reverse is somebody that's unfaithful. You know, maybe in the past you didn't think it all the way through when they came back. Okay, because it's like sometimes the page of pentacles in reverse can be like somebody not thinking, like not thinking practically. So maybe you were just it's so excited about them coming back. All right, but the page of pentacles in reverse is like also like you're not getting no more than what you were getting before. Could be, oh, this is your energy Virgo and it's in reverse. The hermit's in reverse. So that's you like still sad, still suffering, still depressed in the situation. You're like, I'm not getting more than I was getting before. You know, like I wasn't thinking before. Like they're not going to come back and try to hype me up and have me thinking we're going to be together. And ain't shit happening. All right, let's see. Why is a hermit coming up in reverse? Justice. Get your justice, Virgo. Get the truth. Get your justice. Cut them off and be done. I mean, but that's up to you guys, you know. Uh, why is justice here for Virgo? Going to justice. Why is justice here? The five of swords 
get your justice. Because if not, it's the same with the five of swords. All they're going to just keep doing is getting all in your head. Keep lying. You're going to keep wanting the truth. Tell me the truth. What's the truth? Like, they're going to keep getting in your head. Okay? It's also with the five of swords and justice. Like, things do change. Things can change. Things will change. Things will be better. We have the ten of cups and we have the six of cups. And we have the five of swords. Get that victory in love. Ace of swords, six of cups, ten of cups. Get what you deserve. Okay? So, it's just like, this time around, I just see you really cutting them off. I really see you guys cutting them off this time around. Why is the five of swords here? Somebody's cutting somebody off, and it's because they're tired of their shit. They're tired of it, like, not going anywhere, not... Yeah, seven of swords. Be like, before you can even lie to me, get me excited, get in my head, talk your shit, I'm done. Because I feel like the overall energy is the emperor coming back with the knight of wands in reverse and the lovers in reverse. Like I said, they're coming back or they're coming towards you because they feel like they can. You know, like, and they know you want to be with them or you want this relationship. But it's just a love triangle. This person is still married, committed. They're still with somebody. They're still in a long-term relationship or they live with somebody. It doesn't have to be marriage. They can live with somebody, be in a long-term relationship, something like that. And it's like, this person is like, it's this, they're going to keep it into, it's going to stay like a third-party love triangle situation. Let's even pull one more card on the Knight of Wands in reverse, in the six, I mean, in the Lovers in reverse. There's that six. There's that, there's that imbalance, that one-sided relationship. The person that really only thinks about themselves. Nine of Pentacles. Like, they're coming back towards you. Why? You're single. You're independent. You got your shit together. And they know that they can depend on you or come towards you. And at the end of the day, like I said, they they know that you have feelings for them. You love them and you want to be with them. Okay? So, they're, that's, what, that's part of the reason why they're coming back. You guys are going to reconcile. I see that. But then, look. Ace of Wands reverse. It's not going to shift. It's not really going to go anywhere. And I see the seven of wands reverse. Somebody just like kind of like giving up. Like, you know what? Nah, not again. You know? So, I mean, it's like now you see. It's like now you're seeing, you know, that it just may not work out. Okay? I do see for some of you guys there is new love or somebody that you just could have recently met not too long ago. You could have just met them like a couple weeks ago or like, you know, like recently. Okay? Um... I do feel like you may be kind of hung up on this situation for just a little bit longer. And then I feel like you guys are going to cut them off or realize if you haven't already. All right. So let's see. Could be a Cancer that you meet. Could be an Aries. We have Gemini. We have all the signs here. But some of you guys do have a new love coming in. And it's coming in like out of nowhere. But um, it's coming in while you're ending this relationship is what I'm also getting too. All right. So let's see. A couple more messages for uh, Virgo. We have Twin Flames. So this can be your twin flame for some of you guys. Or this can be a twin flame situation. Maybe you think it is a twin flame or it feels like a twin flame situation. Maybe you think this person is your twin flame. We have guilt, sabotage. This could be that your twin flame did, you know, sabotage the relationship between you guys. Or like someone's just like holding on to guilt. Someone feels bad. They're like, damn, I, I, I fucked up what we had. Let's see. We have North No Purpose. So this came out in Aquarius' reading, I think. So that I feel like there's something that you guys are learning um, right now with your north and south note, north and south note. But if this says purpose, it's telling me you guys are needing to focus on your purpose. So it's like if this is a twin flame connection, what's kind of still in the way or blocking this is that you're not focused on your purpose. And you need to focus on your purpose, okay? And focus on the things that you really do need to focus on to balance out the energy before there's any type of union or anything that comes together. Okay, so that can also be what it is too. All right, but let's just put one more message just to make it clear. Seed, spring. So I feel like something is going to be planted, like a seed is going to be planted in the spring or it could have been planted last spring. Okay, but I feel like what you guys really do need to focus on is your purpose. I'm also getting career or some of you guys are undecided about like your career or starting a business or something like that and there's fear behind it. Okay, so let's see. A couple more messages for Virgo. We have, they are not you. I know that now. So they know that the person that they're with is not you. 
but they're still not changing the situation. And that's what you need to see. That's the bigger picture that you need to see and realize. Like, okay, you keep telling me, like, I'm your twin flame or we have this connection or they're not, um, I'm not them. And you want to be with me, but they're still in their situation. Okay? So we know that we see that. They can tell you that 10 times. But if they didn't change the situation, then it doesn't matter. Okay? So let's see. Your energy is sexy. So they may come back around because, like I said, your energy is sexy. They love everything about you. Your confidence all that type of stuff maybe you got it going on could be a libra that you guys are dealing with or they just think that your energy is just like naturally sexy and then we have leo so there can be a leo involved okay or you can have leo in your charts i'm coming back please don't leave me and we have Taurus. so there can be a Taurus that is coming back around or a leo or somebody that's like please don't leave me i want to be with you Somebody wants you all to themselves, but it's like, how's that going to work when you have another situation? All right. So I just feel like overall, all together, Virgo, in this reading, this purpose card really stuck out to me. And I really feel like that's what you guys need to focus on, your purpose. Yeah, see the depth card. There needs to be a type of change, transformation. Don't resist some type of change. In order for the new to come in, this new beginning, this blessing, it's like you really need to focus on you right now. Okay? Some, yeah, see six of pentacles reverse. I just feel like giving into this situation right now is not going to get you anywhere for some of you guys. See how the justice skills are reversed? It's time for you to balance things out, figure out your finances, your career, your life, like things that you want. It's time for some type of major change for you guys. All right, for some of you guys. Yeah, see, seven of wands in reverse. Stop trying to prove yourself. Stop, stop trying to like, like, it's no need. You don't have to prove yourself. You don't need to explain yourself. Eight of cups in reverse. See, look, five of pentacles. And I would just, look. So even if they try to come back again, look. Don't keep putting yourself in that sad-ass situation. Okay? So if it's meant to be, if it's meant to happen, if it's meant to come together, it will come together if this is a true twin flame connection. All righty? So that is what I do have for you, Virgo. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book a personal reading, fireintuition.com. All right, stay dope, and I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye, Virgo.